this was not just a matter among governments, it's a matter among peoples. And if we are talking among peoples, start when the child is two years or three years or four years old. You save not only his life, you save his future. Otherwise, maybe he was in risk not to enjoy it. Five thousand five hundred Palestinian children were saved. And many of them would lose their lives if they wouldn't be treated properly. The families know that this is a contribution from heart to heart to all the needy, to all the helpless, to all the young. <laughs> One should charge it, but the profound investment in building a common foundation for the future, and the future will be a future of peace. Time to time, people are asking me, how would you like to be remembered in history? And my answer is, as a man, who I saved the life of one child. I can't think of anything more noble and more moving for me as a person than the idea that they took part in saving life of a child. Children who implanted cochlear implant, they um, as if you have born them again. You see, it's a new life for them. We concentrate on using speaking as a way to communicate, uh, in order uh, to help the children uh, to be able uh, to integrate, to be integrate them in the community. <laughs> It's a very good feeling when and happiness when I heard my daughters talking to me and said, Mother. cooperation program with the Paris Center helped us create the first and only center of excellence in cancer care for adults and for pediatric. We are now serving close to 900 patients a month. 
and we're now having a whole vision to become a cancer institute for treatment and for research for adults and pediatrics. What we succeeded in this and why people should pay attention to the cooperation between the Paris Center for Peace and between our hospital is that it's a model for empowering the two sides in the conflict to be winners, both of them to be winners, both of them to achieve and both of them to go to the world and say it is doable when it is equitable. I have a general dream to get a better medical service in my community, which is really very miserable. I remember when I was a child, there was a program on TV. The name of the program was Night Writer. So that, that man was super for me, and I always dreamed to be like him. I thought as a Palestinian, in order to help my people at that time, it's a good idea to be a doctor in order to help the poor people who cannot uh, come to the major hospitals and to go to outreach them and to provide them the medical support. <laughs> With this training, I would like very much to come back there and to help in treating critical cases coming from all West Bank because it will save the lives of so many children not able to be transferred to Israeli hospital or to Maghassan hospital in Jerusalem. Through the Middlings Fellowship, we will able to train a lot of pediatric subspecialties to work in our new pediatric hospitals. It saved life of a lot of children. Without this, maybe they, they died. I think this project uh, confirms what really I know for a long time that on the personal level, we can get along very well. Israelis and Palestinians can get along. I'm proud to come here. It's a really place to be proud to be in. It's not something simple. I'm proud to, to, to learn from people here the humanitarian part, not only the medical part. Here I am really learning how as a doctor, as an intensivist, to be a human being. I hope that uh, there will come a day that uh, we can live in peace uh, as two people.